Let's see. Yeah, you can see it's just kind of an, it's a big old image file, so the image just needs to be fixed. That's an easy one. Oh, this is a pretty big forest. They really lucked out that I'm not my kaiju self running around here. Oh, you're a ninja! Do I get one of their weapons, I wonder? Since the Krell were just all smashy weapons? Yeah, you jump for it. What do you, what do you got? What do you got? What are you up to? Oh, they're fast. Don't juke me! Yeah! I'll juke you! Right, let's pick up this box. See what's in it. Oh, the dragon oil. Okay. I'm pretty sure that lets you power up, um... Yeah, uncovering the shards' mystical qualities. So you can use them on dragon shards. So you can power up your dragon shards? Hmm. That's actually a really good idea for... For getting stronger items. Huh. Yeah, that's clever. Then you wouldn't have to really do a whole lot. You don't have to you'd get a bunch of standard pieces and then turn them into whatever you wanted to. That's smart. I like that as game design idea a lot, actually. Get some Oh, I don't know if I can fall. But they can't. Wait. I'm also glad it does pause. Yeah, another splinter. Now, if I remember correctly, this is already a level from the Remnant from the Ashes. So, or it's a location you can go to. What I have noticed is graphically, I don't know, I don't remember if it's, if it's as pretty as Remnant from the Ashes. I don't think it is. I have to go back and check, but it definitely... I think Remnant from the Ashes is a prettier game. But it's also a much different game. It's it's way different than what this game is. Hmm. I smell popcorn. I'm either having a seizure or someone downstairs is making popcorn. I don't smell it anymore. Well, there goes my seizure. Okay. Get. Yep. Yep. Oh no! The smells back. Not having not having brain issues. We're good. We're solid. Yeah, no, we're solid. Whoa! You trying to start something, my boy? I'm just waiting for there to be two. They're gonna mess me up. Oh crap! That was a rough camera angle. We'll see if we can get one of their swords. Man. Oh, and since we have so many shards, we should be able to upgrade it really smooth. Ah, <gasps> and since we don't have any other, like, upgraded versions of it, we shouldn't have to worry about getting it to its next level. I'm wondering if they all take the same ones. You know what I'm saying? So, like, up to, like, plus three, there's certain- I'm dead! I got nothing! Dodge! Okay. Yeah, oh, that is so good! Now I'm full health, my man! Now you're in trouble! Get this boy! Whew! My heart's pumping. Super hard, I'm getting sweaty. I don't know why. Man, I love the- I love the level up in the middle of a fight, and we're level 21 and our age is only 20. Boys, we're making progress super hard. As long as our age doesn't get above our level, we're good. My biggest concern. I want a new sword really bad. Oh, they got new bros. Okay, so they do have the same characters from uh, Remnant from the Ashes. <laughs> don't, don't you just stare at me like that. And it doesn't look like they have any, um, armor sets for this game either. It looks like it's just your weapon, your shield. Ooh, yeah! You're gonna learn your lesson to- oh, god. Oh, jeez! Nope! Hey, I'll give you the old right there, Fred. Okay, or you can deliver it, I suppose. 
I gotta dodge in instead of out. Yeah, that's what you get. Okay. These dudes got some good designs going on. I'm still just blown away by all the possibilities of the dragon oil thing. Because what's really cool, and I wonder if they're going to do it, is... Let's say you have dragon oil and that boosts your dragon shard and turns it into like a certain kind of dragon shard. And then like, let's say like a, a red one, right? But if you find another kind of oil, you can turn it into like a different kind of dragon shard, which is used to upgrade other things. So like a green one, you know what I'm saying? Just different properties. So you don't have to keep worrying about finding specific things or specific, um, upgradable materials, you just have the opportunity to turn your materials into whatever you want them to be. Oh, that would be amazing. That'd be such a good mechanic. Well, you think you're good? You think you're gonna beat me? Yeah, that's right. You're not. Yeah! Yeah, that's right. We're getting under the... We're getting the dodge on lock. Okay, maybe not. Okay, do something. Get gouged. Nice. Boom, 51. Who needs points and other stats when you got agility? I'm curious where it maxes out at. Hmm. Well, this is really a change of color right now. I feel like I missed something, but I, I didn't. I just walked on bridges straight all the way through. Maybe I didn't miss anything. Oh, that's kind of... Oh, this is nice. Okay. Um, we got two choices. Let's go left. Since I always end up going right. And missing stuff or making mistakes. <sighs> Did we just find a secret door to unlock? Oh, hey now. Oh, uh, no, I guess we gotta get around it. Hmm. Okay. Okay, well, there's another door. I don't see... What is that? I don't know why I'm squinting like it's gonna help me. I could just walk at it, but I really don't want to. Okay, let's take this. Let's, let's take door number one. Whew, I'm glad that opened, because I really did not want to go right. Hold on. What's in here? Mummies? Huh. I mean, I like to sleep rolled up in a blanket, but not quite like that. That's weird. Can I interact with that guy? Maybe throw him some corn? Nope, nothing. It just shows you something in there. No, there's gotta be something. Okay, hold on, guys. Hold on. No. Maybe it's his mask. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I'll try to remember it the best I can. Maybe that's what it is? Okay, well, let's open the- let's open this. Well, that one's locked. Alright. Hmm. I wonder why they would show us that. Oh, our ninja's about to jump down. No, ninjas aren't about to jump down. Ooh, okay, okay, here we go. New batch of trap tethers. Foriad's, Foriad's experiment with entwined silk did not work as intended. We need more of the gut threads. You can't have my gut threads. Those are mine. I'm using them for gut stuff. Ooh, but I can't get this. Is it a sword? It's a heart. No, it's a it's a shard. That's fine. Wow, I'm really going all over the place without even going that one direction. <gasps> There's something on the back of this, isn't there? Oh my god, do not! Vandalism! What? Why? Now they're going to be real upset. Great. 
Yeah, and it wasn't me. It was that guy over there. Leave me alone. I ain't do it. Yeah. Um. A bag of corn. That'll fix it. God. Okay. Yep. Yeah, nah. It. I tripped. And I fell and bounced again. It's not my fault your statue was in the way of me falling over. Maybe you should put your statues in a more convenient spot. Man. <laughs> my character is a jerk. I mean, aside from all, like, the murder, you know. He's kind of a jerk, apart from the Moida. But now when you're leveling up... Okay. Well, that opened something. I didn't want to drop down. Let's... Yeah. Yeah, now you're trapped. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. What magic do you have? Oh, it's lightning magic! Stop it! Oh, he's super cool. But not as cool as my moves. Alright, here's a mummy. Oh, I can't read that. Uh, the great... I didn't learn curse. I, d I did learn cursive. The great pan priest, the Kosh Rechnaths, divined the true nature of the body long ago. The outer shell, the Orserac, the skin and flesh is a sheath composed of elements of the world around us. Earth and air and water combine to create a protective container for the true life within. The brain and organs are the Meierstick? For there is the seed of true life. Without the mere shirk, the pan is but an empty vessel waiting to be filled with sacred power. Oh, mm-hmm. I got you, the Da Vinci Man. It made sense to the Kashnath. It made sense, then, to the Kashnath that upon dash, the mere cash must be removed from the lower shirk. Ah, uh, why are they doing this? This is like leading the water M. Night Shyamalan words. Only once that separation is has been accomplished, may proper burial take place. The technique, tools, and implements used in the separation have been refined and improved upon over the generations so that now the burial process approaches a fine art. Oh. Some have said that the lower ranks of the Kashrath even hold competitions to see whose separation acumen is the best, with the winner determined by whose Meshrek is left most intact. Hmm. Well, give me this. I'll show you my mash rank, uh, moves. You do not consider yourself squeamish, but the thought of this tool's purpose, the internal matter extracted from cadavers during the embalmer process, makes your gorge rise. I have a gorge? What the fudge is a gorge? Is it located right beneath my lash racks? I don't understand. Well, let's go down, I guess. Now that I'm totally kind of lost, vocabulary-wise and geographically. Well, we're saving. That's never good. Oh, hey, it's great! The spear could just as easily be an object of art as a weapon of war. <sighs> okay. The pan spear. Oh, its affinity is really bad. Okay. Oh, it's just pokes. Can you poke from behind a shield? No. It's just lots of range. Hmm. It's the Krell move list from the little guy. We're gonna keep the iron sword right now. Huh. I guess, uh... I guess nothing. Wait! A rope. You know, I recognize the fiber which the slender cord has been woven, has been woven, but despite its lightweight, it seems much sturdier than the rope hemp you used back home. Okay, so now we got a rope. 
we can throw it down that cavern from the, uh, where we pushed the statue. Unbeknownst to me who was pushing the statue, I had no idea that was going to be the case. But, we'll see what happens. Oh, and here's, here's that other room with the, uh, corporeal smoke? Incorporeal smoke? I don't know, it's very suspicious over here. We're hitting the mesh racks. <gasps> Is this lightning? You can feel the energy permeating your muscles, your bones. And you know that if called upon, the lightning stone will issue forth an elemental blast of electricity momentarily stung foes. Ah. Oh. Plus, we gotta do this. Bram. I don't know what the special is, but I freaking love every lightning element all the time. I think they're super dope. I don't know. It's just it's just my weakness. I don't think there's anything else here. I also don't think that actually does anything when you do that to your sword. I think it just looks cool, which I can appreciate. Okay, nothing up there. What do we have in here? Still nothing. I don't... I don't get it. But whatever. Maybe it'll make itself a little bit more apparent later on. Alright, so we're gonna go up, toss the rope, come on down and see what happens. I feel like we still want to use fire, just... Ah, but the lightning one looks so cool. I just think it looks nice. You know, it's like that, uh, that time you had to build your own lightsaber and... What was that? What was I playing? That Star Wars one? Oh, no. We gotta combine it. Okay, here we go. Not the last Jedi. Fallen Order. That's the one. You gotta build your own... Ah, oh, I almost cried. Almost cried. I got weak. Uh, ooh, I tried to combine the hook with the hook. I need to combine the hook with the rope. Uh-huh. Scaling vertical spices. Oh, yep, yeah, now we're getting clever. Sweet. Oh, you can't peek to the other side, huh? Nothing's changed, I guess. Can you climb back up? Yeah, you can. Okay, sweet. Hmm. I don't really trust that. I don't trust that either. But I guess we'll do it. I wonder how long these bros get stunned for. You won't get fancy if I kill your foist. Get! Huh. Oh, maybe it makes the hits done better. That could be. That would make a lot of sense. However, I just wasted it, so if there's anything strong that comes around me and just punches me, I'm dead. Is this a dragon heart? It is! Nice. Oh god, I'm gonna need it, I guess. Sweet. Nice. Okay, that worked out way better than I thought it would. I don't like this humming noise I'm hearing. Makes me nervous. Everything makes me nervous in games like these. I don't feel- I don't- I don't really think I'm an anxious person. But boy, is it causing problems. Uh. 
Oh, okay. Oh, I have another one. Oh, a shard. Okay. That ain't bad at all. Hmm. They want me to grab it. But do I dare? Oh, I, I dare. It's the only thing to grab. Uh... A simple container feels surprisingly... <gasps> yeah! I'm gonna get Raiders of the Lost Ark! I don't want to get crushed by a boulder. Let me out. What's happening? What is it? It sounds like things are changing. I missed it. I ran away like a big coward. I should have put the bag of corn on there. Probably weighs about the same. It's the heaviest bag of corn anyone's ever held. Well... Now I guess you just gotta live with the consequences of my actions. So, what is, uh... A labyrinth box? A simple container feels surprisingly heavy. Interact. Um... What? In your time... Seen your time on this side of the world stone? The labyrinth rune? Um... <laughs> yeah? Okay. I suppose that makes sense. Oh, your sword stays lit for, for a while. Oh, boy. I still don't know which one's better. Let's try the fire one again. I think it increased your damage also. Oh, oh, oh the minute I saw him, I said he's going to throw those. I should have just been ready. He's got three chops. There we go. <laughs> it's like, that's how you know these boys are dangerous. Once they start getting three chops, it's about to get real. It's over. He's got little pan flutes. And he's got nothing. Here, bro, I'll trade you. Here, have a bag of corn. Here, have this. Huh. Well, all right, then. What you got over here? Can I take those? No. What's that noise? Huh. Alright, so we're looking for some plants. For some pan flutes, maybe? That's what I'm expecting. I just don't see where we would have gotten them from. Maybe I'm missing something. I hear the flutes. Oh, oh, hey, 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 you. Give me those. How do I get up there? Oh, I hope he trades. I don't have to fight him. I don't want him to be a big jerk about it. Oh, wait, was this opening when I took it? This was opening when I took it. Had I not been such a huge coward and ran off, I just didn't want to get crushed. That's a good design. Like, hey, hey, you, you need some flutes. Look, where am I gonna get them? There's someone playing some flutes. Maybe you can trade them in a bag of corn. Ooh, now we got the red mat dragon oil to upgrade our sword. All right, boy. You wanna, you wanna trade me your flutes? What's up? Don't fight me. A traveler approaches. Uh huh. One of whose kind I have heard in whispers. It is Paxotec, foreign to the pen. Oh, okay. Very Paxotec. Yeah, I need that flute, dog. Living beings require many things, Paxotec. Perhaps I will part with this possession. If the Paxotec proves itself worthy. Oh, no. A riddle shall I ask. Three chances shall it have. Okay. 
Oh no, it's from that book with the snars and the mix of the used and all the all the words. Give me your riddles. Okay. Alive I am not, yet still I grow. Lungs I have not, yet breathe I must. Oh, he's fire. I have not, yet all I devour. What? You're, you're fire. Growing, roaring, devouring. Fire yeah. consumes all. That one bad. The Baxel deck is clever. Perhaps I have yeah. misjudged it. I read that on a popsicle stick, boy. I have no doubt the Paxel deck will conquer this one. Oh crap, there's another one. Listen, I have eight to spare and am covered with hair. Oh crap. What am I? I don't know, I gotta eat a popsicle really fast. A cat, a spider, or a mountain goat. Cats have nine lives. I think it's that, because you have... I always thought it was legs first. Mountain goat, I don't know what the fudge it's a mountain goat, but it's a cat. Indeed. The fur-covered cat has eight lives to spare. Yeah, life, boy! If the old tales are to be believed. Most admirable. Um, yeah. What weighs more? A pound of wood or a pound of ore? Excuse me? Um, well, an ore is a row because it's spelled different. N neither? It should savor this small victory. Of course, a pound of ore and a pound of wood weigh the same. Yeah. One pound. One pound. No doubt. The Paxotec has earned the flute. Here, Thank you. Take the prize. And a little bit more as well. It shall need any and all advantages as it travels. Yes! Thank you. This is a good character design. I like this dude a lot. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna fight him. Why would I? He's being a bro. In a world where there's no bros, he just he's not trying to wreck my face, which I can appreciate. Everyone else is just trying to moit at me straight out the gate. Like, uh, hey, you! And you're like, yeah, I got a scarf. They're like, we don't like your kind with scarves around these parts. And he's like, oh, well, games. And you gotta run off and fight him and... Just destroy the krell and everything and destroy the pan. All because I'm wearing a scarf. I don't understand it. I figured the less things that have gone wrong with my character and age, the better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, if I hit 30 and I get a beard, they're like, hey, you over there. You're like... Uh, yeah? And they go, yeah, you got a scarf? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I do. And a beard? And you're like, ah, I guess. <laughs> and you're just screwed. Like, we hate beards and scarves. That combo's the worst. Mm, there's just nothing. There's no winning. No winning. Okay, we... Well, I was gonna say we can go left and right, but all we can really do now is go forward and chop this boy. That's a good move. But have you seen my basic five hit combo? That one's pretty good too. It's, it's an old consistent fan favorite. If I had some aerial raves though, you'd be... You'd be feeling those. This looks like progress, so we're gonna go left and we're gonna run away from progress. Like I always do, in games, and me the real life. Um, let's slap it. Never mind. I don't trust that. Oh, these are the bones with the skin. Oh, I liked them better when they were bones. It's like, it's like when you discovered dinosaur fossils. I liked them much better when they were just fossils. Whoa! That's how the next Jurassic Park should start. I wanted to start just with that same thing. I liked them much better when they were stuck in rocks. Yowza! And then the whole movie just starts. A thin, sharp-aged rectangle. <gasps> yes! We found a keycard. Nice! Well, we got a book. 
Okay. Oh, you know what? This is where the first team went. Okay. Day one. Another trip with Floyd and the team through the Delta. Today, we find ourselves in an artfully crafted village built high into the treetop. Trees the size of redwoods rise up from below us, while the forest canopy above covers everything in sight. Through the fog under the canopy appears an enormous ziggurat like the ancients used to build. Native life forms are present and aware of our arrival, but haven't engaged us yet. They appear to be intelligent, their likeness brings to mind the mythical f the mythical pan from folklore and fairy tales. It's easy to become enchanted with our surroundings, but Ford is keeping us on guard. We're not sure what we're dealing with yet. The pan. Day two. The team made it to ground level of the forest this morning while exploring a ridge. Overlooking the ziggurat, natives approached and surrounded us. Their weapons were drawn and they had us cornered at the edge of the ridge. We backed off the ridge and into a cave for safety. At the moment, we've been left inside unharmed, but they are keeping guard at the entrance. Ford suggests we step... Suggests we remain here, sleep in shifts to keep watch, and to try to get one of... And to try to get out of here in the morning. While some of us are frightened, the captain seems to have it under control. Ford is a main character in the first one, which I still haven't, which you don't really come across. You get a whole lot of diaries. Of course, I haven't beaten the first one, but I've played a fudge ton of most of it. As morning arrived, I should probably just beat it. As morning arrived, two guards rushed into the cave and grabbed Captain Ford. When several of us tried to take him back by force, one of our men was killed in the exchange. Ford insisted that we stand down and they took him away. Later in the day, the captain was returned to us unscathed. He told us that he was brought before their queen. His attempts to communicate her were unsuccessful, and she seemed angry about her presence. Ford thinks it's best that we find a way to leave here as soon as possible. With a man down in the cave still under guard, the escape seems unlikely. We'll be spending another night in the cave. Day 6. Still stuck inside with no hopes of getting out anytime soon. Boy, they should have experienced some lockdowns, you know what I'm saying? We're running out of uh, water and food rations, and the end of the day is drawing near. Now there's a large bonfire on the ridge just outside the cavern. Hundreds of natives are gathered around and are performing chants and rituals. It appears to be escalating towards something, and Ford says it can't be good for us. He believes that we won't survive the night. I've never seen our captain afraid. We shouldn't have come here. Well, that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now here's the thing. We have the key card, and... Well, we can go back through the portal, see what's up, and then come back and finish it up with the key card, or we can continue this direction and see if we come across another stone. I want to keep going because we're right there near the ziggurat. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's at least get... No! They're playing the range game on me, boys! Double dodge! Oh, I was like, double dodge! Level up! Now you in trouble! That's the only chop you're gonna get, my man! Oh, wow. That's a, that's a big looking hike. Okay. Hmm. You know what? It's not that big of a looking hike. It's real intimidating, though. Right here. Oh, those are cool. For some reason, those remind me of the Predator. I mean, well, it's very obvious. There's like a mask on top of the things with the little locks going on. Anything that has a mask with dreadlocks, you just go, that's Predator. That's it. Whoa! That guy's on the front of the box. Let's go this way. And get this box. Okay, we got some more dragon oil. Um, it's just some rubble. You know, I never understood video game characters who couldn't walk over rubble. Like, just, you fall from great heights, you never worry about twisting an ankle. You see some rubble, and you just, you're like, well, mm -mm -mm, there's some chairs, I can't get over it. Oh, yeah! Mm-hmm. Nice. Sick! Yeah! <laughs> right out the gate. Sorry, my voice got... Oh man, I got real dry there for a second. Oh no! Okay, we gotta get this guy before the other dude light, gets his lightning on. 
You ain't getting your lightning then. Don't you try it. I'm not gonna let it happen. Yay. Yeah. Sit down, my dude. Hey. Upgrade those. Okay. Well. Let's uh let's keep it going. Ooh, okay. Okay, now let's go ahead from here. Just because I didn't want to fight my way through all these things. Let's go back. And then we'll check and see what the key card's for. When your character dies, you'll respawn at the most recently activated world stones crystal. Okay. Fast travel. World stone can be used fast travel to any other activated world stones when you're acting with a world stone. Use left and right to toggle. Yep. We want this one. 